my next contacts with him um, in a in a two so one on one situation were that I sat next to him in the training room in San Francisco. Um, almost every day, I would say ninety nine percent of the time, and uh, and wanted to be his student, and I uh, I realized that. Um, this was the first time in my life that I had uh, felt from myself, uh, from my personal interest and my personal uh, needs, uh, that I wanted to learn something. At the beginning, I didn't want to learn uh, FI. I had an FI at Esalen with uh, Trummel Ephron. And it was the first time I'd ever felt a very fine movement in my spinal column. And inside, I said, I want to learn that. But doing Moshe's, watching Moshe do uh, FI, I thought, oh my God, that's going to be the, a long term project. And it is still for me a long term project. Um, so I, uh, I, I continued to contact Moshe after ATMs and, uh, and ask him sometimes uh, small questions. And then in the summer um, of 1977, actually in the winter of 1977, I decided to go to, San, to Tel Aviv because we couldn't get um, at that time, except during the training time, uh, FIs and I wanted more FI. And so um, I went to Tel Aviv um, from, from Munich, Germany, where I was then living. And, um, and to this day, it's just very touching to me that I would call Moshe and I went every year until 1980 uh, and call him and, and I would say, Moshe, I want to come to Tel Aviv. And he never dropped a moment of the conversation and just simply said, when do you want to come, Ned? And I would, uh, I would say, well, I want to come next week uh, on Thursday, whatever was going on. And I would come into Tel Aviv and then ride over to his house with some form of transportation. And he was always waiting, uh, waiting uh, either in his studio downstairs or waiting in his brother's apartment upstairs. And I, I could barely believe that this very accomplished and for me very well uh, known man was waiting for me. And uh, it was the beginning of an understanding of how much Moshe had a deep regard for the people who wanted to be his students and in contrast to some of us at that time, some of the people in the training who wanted to uh, come together and show their own abilities. And, uh, and I didn't need that, um, it's not what I needed. And so I, um, I, I continued to go, I went, as I say, every March for 77, 78, 79, 80, and um, and we get FIs literally every day. <laughs> it was a pure luxury. Uh, and and, and uh, I would have FIs for a week with Gabi. I'd have FIs for a week with Yokanan. I'd have FIs for a week with Mia. Um, every once in a while with Shlomo Efrat. Uh, every once in a while with somebody else, but mostly with those people who were the assistants, the so-called assistants in my training and who I knew at that time. And I would go on um, not every night, two nights a week and on Friday morning to Alexander and I, and I would watch what I saw, take notes, and, uh, and somebody would frequently come, Mia, um, sometimes Gabi, sometimes somebody else, and they would translate his Hebrew for me. That was on Friday mornings. That's when the people who had been in his study groups, who'd attended his uh, Alexander and I lessons, sometimes for 
let's see, that would have been in 77, certainly for almost 20 years, uh, would come over and they would translate his Hebrew. And he was um, maybe once or twice or three times in the room, but mostly the tapes were running, which he'd recorded uh, either the day before or earlier in the week there at that time, there were um, on, I think on Tuesday nights uh, and Thursday nights or Monday and Thursday nights, um, there was an ATM class and then another one right after it. And um, so I began to understand how uh, committed Moshe was to his students and with what respect um, and, and with generousness, he began to uh, cultivate a relationship even with me, uh, who I, you know, at that time uh, had no connection to Moshe except through the work. So that's another aspect of what um, I value marriage much to this day and has been a life lesson for me is to uh, develop more and more this very clear relationship with my students that has to do with what our questions are together and what this person wants to learn and what I'm able to give them, what I'm able to offer to them. So this is another aspect of what I continue to appreciate so much about being Moshe's student, learning with his students. And of course, at that time I was uh, in the process uh, and still am, of uh, understanding myself as a learner, as someone who is capable of learning and who at any time can uh, receive the offering that's being um, in front of me, being put in front of me either verbally or visually or whatever. And so of course I learned uh, not only from my teachers, I met a a very few but very special teachers in my life and I learned from my students um, and I learned through teaching uh, in particular ATM in the beginning and then uh, from the years of teaching in the training programs. 